start. Oh, like I go here. Now. So anyway, good day to all of you. Uh, I am going to collect a bike. <laughs> if you're saying collect a bike, what bike, Melvin? You know, I was telling you all that we're gonna go into this lift. Huh? So in my point of view, I think a pretty bike always feels good lah. So to then, uh, then when I posted one of a picture on my Instagram, right? What happened was, uh, then Veloworks, Veloworks gave me a call uh, and said, Hey, do you want to test out a bike? So I said, okay, let's test out a bike. So I'm going to go collect the bike now. So I am there right now. Yeah, Veloworks. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Brother Loso here. Ever you come here? Hello. Loso is always here for you. <laughs> this is the track domain. Domain. Domani. Domani. Track domain is their endurance. Yeah. Uh, endurance bike. So track domain is for the comfortable uh, comfort ride lah. You want to do long ride like 100 km, 200 km uh, This bike lah very compliant uh. And it's aluminium. Comfortable bike. Comfortable bike. This is the aluminium. This is the this. Uh, they call it the this ball. Uh. Huh. The tail is around 6188. 6188. So I was telling you that if you want to get a bike, get the bike that you like visually. You like it, get it. So this one. Uh, so pretty. All this are uh, actually gold, gold leaf inside. And Trek is using this called the SLR 800 Carbon uh, It's their proprietary carbon uh, from Trek So because it is definitely much stronger right They are able to use less material To be able to still maintain the aerodynamic of the Trek Imonda And still remain lightweight So they are still able to get the weight of this frame uh, down to 700 gram below So that, that's what makes the Trek SLR series right so lightweight, so stiff, and they're able to shape aerodynamic profile within the frame, la, which is very pretty. La. And this is how Trek uh, do their cabling system. I would say that with the way that Trek manages their cabling system is definitely more mechanic friendly, maintenance friendly as well. So this is the Imonda series, which is the uh, all-rounder climbing bike. La. A lightweight bike, I would say. Assembled in the United States. Series, uh, that's using the 800 series carbon, right? Uh, the way they did the Imonda allows them to build a lightweight bike and still aerodynamic. So, what they have tested, right? It is at least 18 seconds faster per hour on the 8 degree, 8% uh, gradient. And also, the way they did the aerody aerodynamic profile, if you compare the older Imonda versus this one. Uh, they have actually shaved off at least 182 gram worth of drag just by focusing on aerodynamics. So this is their fastest Imonda lightweight bike ever. So that's the bike that uh, Henry say, uh, from Velo, Velo Works uh, said, Melvin, take this bike for a drive this weekend and tell me what you think. So this weekend, uh, I'm going to test the bike. Quite a lot of wheel sets here as well. Ranging for, of course, uh, the brand, the Trax company, Bot Ranger. They also range some, uh, they have a lightweight wheel here. Uh, some NV wheels as well. Uh, there are quite a lot of wheels here. These are all the SLR version. Uh, the top one, uh, you know, you want to go, go top. But of course, they have the lower range version, which is the more affordable one, which is the SL version. Uh, I think it's me. Yeah, uh, there you go, the SL series. So, the SL series for this Imonda is using the 500 series carbon. Uh, with the weight penalty, I think the weight penalty is about 400 grams. I can't, I, I don't know, but I will put the, I'll do some research and put some description somewhere lah. Somewhere here lah. Oh, the Imonda SL5 is going at 10k lah. Come with the group set Shimano 105. 10,000 ringgit, not bad way. In like, semi-hidden cabling, um, clean cockpit. 
So if you ask me, Shimano 105, I'm a big fan of Shimano 105 anyway. So uh, I'm relatively new with Trek and I'm very excited to test the Trek bike. But I think Trek, they talk about the top few brands uh, that a consumer will want to choose uh, that is uh, popular and branded, right? Trek is one of them. Uh, it's a no-brainer, uh, right? Uh, like I always say there's no bad bike, there's only bad cyclists, right? But if you are a cyclist who want poser material, uh, want quality stuff, uh, Trek is one of them, uh, definitely one of them. Uh. The service to customer. Well, services are like we actually customize our bikes for customers. Uh -huh. So we actually carry one of the most customizable brand in, in the world. So it's um, Trek where you can actually do Project One, you can even customize the bike on um, the wheel, the handlebar, the saddle, the group set. Yeah, basically this is what we do here. To show the process how they order? Yeah, of course. So so that you all know, right, Project One is probably the coolest custom bike setup for in the bike industry la, and it's actually owned by Trek. La, this. Okay, so we have this um, interactive um, display here where we can actually show customer what are the options available for Project One. So for example, we start off with, we can choose the model first. Project One in the sense that not only in color, but in terms of um, spec, the view set, the saddle, the length of the stem, the handlebar. Oh. So all this can be customized. Fit until chun chun. Uh. Yeah, for example, say we now pick the hottest model now, Imonda SL. Uh. First, you choose your group set. Mm. This is the latest um, rival AXX. Oh. You can actually order from track already. Oh, so. Yeah, example, you click on this. Immediately, you can see how the bike will look like. New group set! Just launched last week. <laughs> yeah, so you can actually order from track already. So for example, you there are a series of um, color for you to choose from. So this is the tier one pricing, tier two pricing, and the designer series. I like the designer series. Yeah. Then you choose this one. Second tier, you add another US 500. This is where you can pick the color that you want. <gasps> Any color I want. <laughs> Example, I want it to be <gasps> yellow. What witchcraft is this? <laughs> and I want it to be in orange. This is crazy, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is like a game. You choose what you want. Yeah, like just now the customer who actually wanted to. So a lipstick color. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so there's a blush color. Oh my goodness. And. Oh my goodness, so pretty. And this one, she wants a white. Oh so my goodness. Right. So it becomes a custom. It's built for you. Okay? Oh and my you goodness. can choose the finishing of the paint as well, whether it's a gloss or matte. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but you can't see the effect here. Yeah, but oh my goodness. And then you look at here. You can choose a personalized speeding that, you know, cyclists have to put a sticker on their name. Mm. Project One can actually help you to do your name as well. It's a sticker or a print on? It's a painted by them. Oh. For example, you put Melvin. You can see a sample. Wait, am I buying a bike now? <laughs> yeah, then you can choose your BB. So, of course, if you pick a strand, they'll give you a strand BB. You can choose a steel or you top up a little bit more. What's you strand? get a ceramic speed. Much more, right? I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, but they only charge you eighty dollar extra. What? <laughs> Just eighty dollars and add a ceramic speed. Are you crazy, lah? What good value? Eh? Yeah. Then you look at the components. You can pick the higher end wheel. These are their Bot Ranger wheels, ah. Yeah. So the new RSL thirty seven. Ooh, fancy wheel. And this is the last week launch the RSL fifty one. If you prefer a higher profile. See the photo actually. Oh you, you you can okay. So is it changed both both wheel set or front and back? Front Separate. and back. Yeah. Okay, both lah. Okay. Okay, this this is what I always say about bike manufacturers. Uh. I feel bike manufacturers like track, right? They are leading the way in consumer minded approach. Like give what the consumer want, not force feed what consumer don't want. So I find track has this very good DNA in them. And you can come to Velo, uh, Veloworks and they'll do it for you. Yeah, then there's a tire, you can choose a 25 or 28. Oh, sure, wait, so now. So you don't need to swap, ship to you. See a bike. 
Handlebar is a RSL. So if you don't like the RSL, you can actually choose other handlebar. Okay. So of course, uh, the length and width we will actually do a measurement for you, so that you can actually tell them I want a 100 mm stem plus a 42 mm handlebar. Okay. So it means you won't have any bike fitting problem when you come to Weller Works because based on the customization. Uh, what Henry will do is he'll do a basic bike fit for you and then he will tell you what you should get Which is good because right now the biggest problem I'm seeing in the industry is bike shops selling the wrong size to customers Happens a lot, trust me, happens a lot That's where handlebar, bar tip also you can actually tell oh. them what to choose Yeah, so some people prefer a white one mm. You can order it as a white Okay, saddle also, okay, some saddles are yeah, important, saddles so they actually give you a range for you to choose from. From white, white, to narrow, narrow, carbon, okay. lighter one, depends on what you want. So norm normally female will go for 155 lah, I assume, yeah. right? Okay. So there's a short nose, long nose, no um, cutout, so there are actually three series for you to choose from. Seat mask cap is where, this is the color of the seat mask, it's actually gloss or matte. Wow, can't even do that. How yeah, you there's really? a long, there's a short, and there's an offset for you to choose. Oh uh, my god, offset is important. You know a lot of people buy a bike, then they found out their offset is actually... Totally wrong. Totally wrong. So, they have to spend more yes. to actually get it correct. So, so what do you understand offset was? This is what happened to my friend uh, two weeks ago when she bought the Cannondale, uh, right? When they bought the bike, uh, okay, this is a bad example because it's for track, but what my friend did is when she bought her Cannondale, her saddle was all the way to the front because there's a big offset. But at least if you get a track uh, track project one or the customization one, you can actually select the offset, which is much better because when you're all the way front, it's actually very bad for the saddle. It might crack. Yeah. So once you finalize it, you can see the price quotation here. In here. USD, it's yeah. seven thousand eight hundred dollars. Then you can see a summary of the spec that you actually ordered. Mm hmm. From there, you can we can actually place an order with Track USA. Okay. We will get a delivery estimate. Okay. Yeah, depending on um, the availability. So, some are from 30 days all the way to 300 days, depending on the spec that you want. So, so uh, once you order, depending on the spec, it's between a month to a year. So, right now, I feel that because there's a global shortage for components, uh, don't be pressured that, you know, don't be surprised if you have to wait a bit longer. It's quite common nowadays. Yeah. So, the other option is actually to get a ready made film set. Which so, we have quite frame set, they are same, they are also for Jack 1. So, some people want to upgrade their frame, so the components they can actually use back. So, this is a ready made frame for Project 1. This gold leaf. Yeah, this is the Icon series. Oh, sure. This is by far the most popular color. Yeah, I would get one too. Sure. What's the retail price? Okay. Track actually has a different tier pricing, so mm -hmm. this is the highest tier one. Yeah. Um, with the handlebar at around twenty-seven thousand. Yeah, I mean, basically, if you are looking for track, come down and check out Valorworks, uh, and they have a lot of ready stock already stuff, so they can actually build up a bike for you. Yeah, we actually have the ready views for customers to see. Mm. So some of them uh, couldn't visualize from the screen, uh, which so is we actually good. have. Yeah, the, which is good. Well, most of the view sets are here, mm. so they can actually take good. a look. They can weigh it. Uh, track actually done a good job, they actually weigh for you as well. <laughs> That's a convenient. Uh, so this one is 1.6 kg. Mm. We do have two demo bikes here. One Madone and one Imonda. One is built to a size 52 and one built to size 50. Mm. Yeah, if you can't fit these two sizes, then you're riding a 54 or 47. Right? Uh, so, so that's why you have two two sets of bikes to let them try. La. Yes, um, both are built with SRAM. One is a red and one is a Ford. Yeah, this is we actually built it to an RSL uh, Madon, sorry, Imonda SLR 9. 9, spec, nine except spec. the saddle. Also, the 5, 6, or 8, 9 is depending on the group set and the build. Yeah, the group set and the wheel spec. Okay, okay, I get it. Mm. It was an SLR 6. Mm. So we actually stripped the bike apart and we built it with an uh, SLR 9. Okay, same group set with mine. Mm. So, yep. In a nutshell, uh, this video is going to be, uh, going to be pretty long, uh, but basically I want to just introduce uh, my buddy here, Henry. So if you are looking for track, come look for Henry at Veloverts uh, at Kota Damansara. I'll give you the, the location below. Uh, and even if you come down here, you don't buy anything, I'm sure Henry is more than happy to welcome you 
to the shop just to check out the product. Yeah, Betul. by the way, the fridge is free for all. Oh, by the way, they are. So, <laughs> if, you, if you ever come to Kota Damansara, Henry say, free drinks for everyone. Yeah. Except for the beer though, I think the beer cannot, but the, yeah, this, yeah, top, yeah. The, the, this top four shelf can. Yeah, we are refilling it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Henry is such a nice guy. So, so th this is why I say that, you know, sometimes it's just not the brand. You go to bike shop, it's for the people, right? Don't care what's the name of the bike shop or whatever. If the people is good, that's the shop you want to support. And Henry is an awesome guy. <laughs> yeah. And also Loso. I know Loso for a very long time already. Yeah, and this one we actually do a little bit more oh, than... sorry. This one we actually do a little, little bit more than Project One. So Trek previously actually has a Spartacus edition mm. of the Madon and Domani. Spartacus. So of course they don't do it anymore. Mm. So uh, we actually want to show customer you can actually go beyond just Project One. For example, this one we actually order a detail set. This is a high quality detail where you actually put on it to actually make it extra special. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Uh, what's the weight of this bike? Huh? Should be around seven. Uh. Come, let's wait. Everybody always want to know the weight of a bike. Full uh, mark, 7.1 kg with this. Ah, uh, this is why you want top range. Uh. Pedal or in. And with pedal, way. Eh. Computer mount. In. So we run it with tubeless. We light some more. And by the way, uh, the tubeless is 28 mm, you know. 28 mm, you know, at 7.1 kg. So if you kiasu, uh, change to 25, still can hit 7 kg flat. Easily. And if you ultra kasu ah, change to Dura Ace ah, below 7 jaw. Yeah, my friend one is 6.8. 6.8 oh. Yeah. Give the light reviews. On, on. Conversation with Henry ah. You know, one thing I feel lacking in the bike industry is this, you know. When you go to a shop, you buy a bike ah. If the bike fit is slightly wrong ah, but because that's what the shop has, right? A customer is walking out from the shop after paying 8,000, 10,000, 3,000, 50,000 ringgit. They're gonna walk out from the shop and the bike only fits them 70, 80% of the parts fits them. So what happens after they walk out from the shop? A week later, they find shoulder pain, la, backside pain, la, uh, knee pain, la, and then what do they do? They pay another five, 600 bucks for a bike fit. And they have to then, after the bike fit, probably they need to pay another 500 to 1,000 ringgit to change the part from stem to saddle to even crank arm, right? So then, after having this conversation with Henry, and Henry told me that one of the best service that Track Project One does is this. They allow to order the stem, uh, the stem, wait, stem is not really, uh, the stem length, handle width, handle bar width. Angle also can. Angle also can. Madone, Madone can change the angle, uh, select the angle, stem angle. Mm. So, so what Henry mentioned is this: he he rather not sell a bike if it doesn't have a stock for that person's size. He rather not close the deal, and his priority is always to make sure that customer walk out of the shop, walk out bike ready, ready to go, no problem. Can work fifty km, no problem. This is. Uh, what Henry believed in his shop. La. So, good lah. These are the bike shops all of us should support lah. Huh? Must support lah. Okay, so other bike shops who's watching this, I know some of, for some of you watching are from bike shops as well. Please have this attitude of customers should walk out ready to go. Not walk out, still have to, you know, wondering what's happening. Why here pain, there pain, you know. This should be an experience. Uh, walk out ready, walk out ready. Huh? Now you say you. I mean, a uh, fifty thousand bike. We believe in um, the bike should actually fit the customer the moment they actually open the box and walk out from the door. Not that um, you, after you buy a bike, then you come back and say, "I want to change this. I want to change that." It's very costly to change anything on uh, this kind of bike. Yes. The tip mask, the handlebar, the stem, and with the global shortage now, it's actually very hard to get. <laughs> Make it even worse. Very hard to uh... get. So can you imagine if you bought a bike, 30,000 ringgit, 
and then you're so excited. Maybe a week or two weeks later, you get the bike. After you get the bike, the, the guy in the shop say, okay, good, ready to go. You go out, a week later, you go back to the shop, and say, hey, the stem too long, la. can change shorter. La. And then the bike shop guy say, no stock, la. can wait another three months. La. How, la. die, la. die, la. die, 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 hey, brain so explode. It's where the project one, yes, you have to wait. But that is really that the bike is made for you. Yes. Yeah. Even the crank length also, chain ring size, cassette size. So all this you can actually tell them what you want. Rather than you like for example I bought a bike before when it come with a standard crank right? Standard chain ring, I couldn't even ride it. <laughs> so that's why I have to spend more money to actually buy another chain ring. So this is why I say track is definitely leading the forefront in consumer and customer experience. Uh. Oh my goodness. I'm so convinced. Maybe I get another bike. Uh. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Uh. Yeah, no money. Uh. Wife already said cannot. Uh. I, I show you the leg shoe. I wanted to buy. Wife said cannot. Uh. How uh, how uh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's it for today's uh, very simple bike shop visit to Velo Works uh, in Kota Damansara. I'm going to give you the location below. Uh, when you come, you can either look for our brother Loso here. Yes. Uh, and then Loso, when you see Loso, you must say Sawadika. Yes, I don't know why. Until now, I still don't know why. And of course, our brother. I don't know. Nobody knows. And of course, we have Henry here. All right, come and check them out. And of course, if you think about track, think about Bello Works. So this weekend, I'm gonna try out the Imonda, and then I'll I'll let you know how how it goes. I think it is bloody impressive, bike both visually and the fit and the performance wise. Just now, I just did some round uh, for you. The acceleration of uh, like e-bike uh, like e-bike uh, <laughs> see you guys uh, this weekend take care